winning it means so much for everybody that when we feel that we aren't winning, then that means something is wrong. Nowadays, it's a lifestyle. It's something that people think about when they wake up in the morning. It is really just changed the way that people interact socially. My grandkids, grandkids will play League of Legends. Do you see where I'm going with this? League of Legends, it's a game that's like very volatile. If anyone's better than you, you'll probably be replaced. But personally, me, I want to just do this for as long as I can. I don't think that I would ever be that close to the top of a skill level in anything else in life. So this is kind of like my opportunity to just like prove to the world that I can be really good at something and that I do have um, the potential to be the best. Phoenix, we have big problem mid, against, especially against TSM. So much pressure all the time. We need to fix. I don't want to fix. You don't want to fix? Yeah, I know how to fix, but... No, you don't. It's fine. It's, it's middle of the season, still problem. How, how fix? He doesn't want to fix it, he doesn't want to fix it. That's, it. that's a bad mentality. Yeah, it's a bad I'm mentality. Not, I'm not, not going to accept bad mentalities. Like, I don't know what to tell you. Like, I don't want Piglet, the star of a scrim, complaining about picks when he doesn't tell me he wants fixed. I don't want Phoenix telling me he doesn't want to fix his problems mid. I don't want to hear any of that shit. I mean, I don't want to hear it either, but like... Phoenix, come up and watch with me. Maybe you're right and I'm wrong. And then we admit I'm wrong. But if I'm right, I want fixed. We just trying to get better. Everyone want win, right? You want win? Yeah. Phoenix is the guy who calms down quick, picked him up, brought him in the other room, and we're able to like talk right away. So you don't agree that Gragas is better than E? I think Gragas is better than E, but that game I didn't see Gragas do anything. Yes, else. he played bad. So that's the point. No, that's not the point. So what are your plan is? I mean, yeah, my point's like pretty obvious. My point is that Gragas is a stronger champion, so yeah, you can do that on any champion, but like, I'm at a bigger disadvantage when he is Gragas, and like, he doesn't have to play bad every game. Okay, so then we'll just ban Gragas. We're playing the LCS tomorrow, then we're playing against the number one team in the league. So everyone's just kind of frustrated. We're all trying to win, and the fact that we're doing really poorly is just on everyone's mind. I just never see any team draft like this. Like, you watch any of the good teams, they never last pick jungler. I mean, I'm of the opinion that drafting this way is terrible. I don't know what the team thinks. I think there was a lot of disagreements in our priorities. Our coach really preferred one thing, but it seemed like a lot of other people were questioning that. It caused a lot of tension in the room. Having issues with play, having issues with strategy, it made for like a rough day. Hey, wake up time. Today we are about to play our match versus Counter Logic Gaming. Uh, starting to wake everyone up right now, a little earlier than they probably would like, but we have some sponsor stuff to take care of in the morning. After yesterday, um, a little less confident than normal, but I think that if anything, it maybe made us realize some more of our problems. So going into the match, uh, hopefully it's not a problem there. Good. It's good. <laughs> yeah. Yo, we gotta really hurry up, guys. We don't need to rush. CLG really loves to flank people, like hiding a bush like Dina does. It's very important. Communication, guys. If we communication well, it's easy for us to win the game. I think we threw away two games last week to drop us out of first. Sucks. I think we should be first place. Now let's jump into our next match with Team Liquid versus Counter Logic Gaming. While spirits are high on the red side, it's a different story for Team Liquid. 
They are coming off a rough 0-2 week with back-to-back -back games that they absolutely could have won, but lost in the last minutes of the game. And then they might get severe, but we're okay with that. Quirky or like Tristana into it. Uh, Zion's like really good into what they we have. We haven't practiced Zion, so... I know we I, haven't, but... No. I, if it's really good here, I'm fine like, picking Is it, it like that yeah. much better than an R pick here, though? We should we should just look to get bottom ASAP. Should back here, Klaus. And a lot of people were saying the Team Liquid could be the best team in North America coming into last week, but they are now 0-3 against top 5 LCS teams. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm coming, I'm coming. He's out of the turn range, last shot, like he said. No flash, no, no flash, no. Trying to kill a brick wall. Quas stays alive. Yep. Oh, special flashes forward for the Divers. Just wait. Quas, just a sliver from going down himself, and Doublelift's able to find that kill. It could be bad. Dominates into the fight. He's getting echo kills, but Doublelift's also turning it around. Here comes Phoenix now, able to find it. Nice. Baron? No, I think no, he has no, reset. Back, he reset, 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 reset. What did they use there? Flashes? Ash flash, Ash flash. Not a flash. Did we use any flashes? I had flash It's over, Phoenix. That's the ace. Phoenix has picked up pretty much all his kills this game while under 400 health, it feels like. He is always a sliver away from diving. And now oh, my God, forward. Phoenix! Oh. Oh. Holy oh. shit! What just happened? Oh, oh, oh my God, God. Two. He's going to get a triple A quadra kill and amazing oh. play by Phoenix on his Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh, my oh my God. God. dude! He's got a quadra oh kill. Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh my God. Oh my God. Phoenix is a fucking god, dude. That win has got to feel good, specifically from Phoenix's point of view. 11-0-5. Team Liquid's game against LG gave us an LCS big play for the ages and damn near broke Twitter. That is the best play of LCS so far. <laughs> Peter, get back here. Let's check out how the teams are stacked up, though, in the standings after yesterday's games. In first place, it's CLG, Team Dignitas, and Team Solo Mid. Gravity and Team Liquid are in fourth. And on the red side is Team Liquid. Up top is Quas in the jungle. I will dominate. Mid, Phoenix, AD Carry Piglet, yep. Support Special, and, of course, uh, Coach Peter. We're about to get this one going. It's almost time to start, so head over to Twitter and start sending your votes in for this match. Use hashtag GVWin or hashtag TLWin. Gravity is actually coming in with two of their members here. Kobe. We can we can bear off that, I think. Oh, we can bear off. We can bear off. Like, oh, we're on the stage. Do you have flash? Do you have flash? I have flash. I have flash. Hey, we should go bear. Oh, they're going to Oh, shit. Oh, oh he absolutely zeroed out with the dissonance and the rest of the damage assist as well going to the team. Phoenix not expecting that. Gravity able to pinch down and suffocate Team Liquid here in the late game. It might be game. All right, so that should be able to clean it up here for Gravity. Oh, oh God. Coming into this with. Six and three, the same That's as Team it. Liquid, and they do set themselves apart. One last hit, the ball cannot make it. Oh! Catches him on just the end. Wow. We just couldn't do any damage. And Gravity will have the 2-0 on the summer split over Team Liquid. We went into the game pretty confident, but Individually, a couple of our players underperformed and cost us probably the game. Some days you just, you know, people don't show up, especially on a rather poor day. Uh, I think Quas had a rather poor day, so um, they play a little better, and I think we win that game. Hey, special. What went down today? I don't want to Maybe the draft didn't go super ahead. Maybe the strategy wasn't the best, but you need to be able to win that game. I'm probably going to be thinking about it for the next league. Like, I think we should have won the game, but we just like mechanically misplayed a bunch of stuff and ended up losing just not due to strategy, more due to mechanics. We play really bad against Gravity. So sad. Like, I don't think that it's like we've never played this, so like, we didn't know how to play. Can we yeah. go over this out? I don't think it's a strategy. Yeah. 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 I don't think it's a strategy. Like, if you should, I think you should individually play that. Let's go outside. I'll pack your guys' stuff up because we got to get this room over. Sometimes we don't want to go out. I think last week when we went 0-2 on the last day, on Sunday, we didn't go out. We were just too upset. I try my best to put on a happy face for them, but this loss was pretty rough for me. Without fans, we probably wouldn't have jobs, and we always try to give back in different ways. At LCS, I've never had a bad in interaction with the fans. Win or lose, like, if you win, the fans are like, wow, that was so good. If you lose, they're like, oh, you'll get them next time. You played great anyway. And online, it's more like they just try to, like, tear you down. I love you, Team Liquid. I love you so much. Played their hard outs. Just, I hope they can pull it together next week. I know they can pull it together next week. Do you want me to sign that for you? Sure, yeah, yeah, of course. 
<laughs> of course, thank you for coming out. It's awesome. Damn, you even got the Mark Z signature. Those are rare. I was feeling pretty bad about the loss. A fan came up to me. He was like, you'll get the next time. I was like, yeah, hope so. He was like, no, don't hope so. Like, you guys can do it. And then he, he took off his lanyard and he just gave it to me. And yeah, I'll definitely have that on my mind. I, I won't let him down. You and Dom, I've been following you since Curse, so oh, wow. and then you since TSM, so I was like, this is like, I'm about to die. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Just don't faint on us. <laughs> some of these players are more notable than some celebrities to our demographic. I did some fan art and I just had them sign it, so they're like little anime characters, anime poster. <laughs> I actually got uh, flyers for my personal business signed by them and we got a ton of sweet pictures. I don't consider myself a celebrity. I consider myself to have like some type of social presence. Like I have a higher level of social presence than the normal person I would say. One time I was with my girlfriend getting breakfast in a restaurant and then some guy walks up to me and he's like, hey, are you Quaz? I don't think I'm like big celebrity, but I guess I am. I think that is like not my choice. Like just like people's choice. And like, people think I meet I am the celebrity, but people who doesn't think that, then I'm not celebrity. Even though I say no, I know that most people will probably say yes. People who follow esports, people who know what I do and who I am, they'll probably be like, oh yeah, you're just like a celebrity. And in a way I agree, but for myself, I feel like there's a long way to go. Three, two, This is kind of a reality check that we're not as good as we may think, and we need to really tighten up small aspects of our play in order to beat these teams consistently. We still have like some weaknesses, uh, you know, clearly like team fighting and all of that needs work. We're frustrated. We know we're capable of playing better than that. The worst thing isn't making a mistake, it's not fixing it. So I'm gonna do everything I can to fix it, but nobody played worse than I did, so. Earlier this week, there was news that a few teams would be changing up the roster. I have the right to even like bench you or fire you if you don't doing well. Liquid, obviously, they, they benched Piglet. He was not performing well with the team, partially emotionally, partially actual performance-wise. I really, really did everything I think in my power to try and make this team work. I remember being in my room with like Piglet, just like bawling my eyes out, like. Why do I feel like I care more about your future than you do? We were set up to succeed so well, and we weren't, and we just kept failing over and over again. It was the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. He was like my kid, right? It's like my family. You have to fix your issues really soon and make that run towards playoffs, and it's a very tight race to liquid are in.